Hello, everyone. Hello. Now, now the viewers of the YouTube Velescope, everyone, good evening, good evening. Now, let's get started. Now, this is the new program, PSO2, New Journalist Prologue 1. Now, the, the popular RPG online, the Fantasy Online 2, the second is part of the world, or PSO2, will celebrate in 2021 next year. That's the leap burst and let's count and major and updates called the Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis or PSO2 NGS. Now, and this program is going to provide that now that's the charm and the latest information of this and this a PSO2 NGS. This is a very fast program, so that's now. This is called Entitled Prologue 1. This is the prologue of this and the new reverse of this of the game. So now, now we are live broadcasting the recorded program so that you can make the comments to the program. But please allow us that we cannot make any feedback to your comments. And now, also that English version of the program is now is presented and available in the, the Google version PSO YouTube channel with English translation. So those who like to listen to the, the program in English, we're just getting in touch with it. We'd like to have a lot of comments, yes. Yeah, I'd like to just um, make a feedback and just get feeling, but anyway. Now, you're really, really cute, Nick John. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, then, let me. Uh, I'm Iwayu of Hawaiichi. I'm the main MC of the program. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much. And now, let me introduce my assistant MC. Now, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm the assistant MC of today. I'm Akali Nibu of the Hinotazaka 46. Everyone, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Now, you are a game lover? Yes. I really love the games and playing games. And so, and uh, uh, always that we are playing the shooting game. Yes. Now, so that this is, I'm looking forward to and to join this program. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. And still, that's, I'm just a beginner of a PSO 2 and I'm just studying and to get used to that game, so that's all I like to just to come and communicate a lot of that's the charm of this game and also I like to play a lot of PSO2, okay? Okay, I like, yes, I like to do my, ba my best to play the game, okay, thank you very much, yes, okay? Now, the, then all of the PSO2 players also watching the programs and now you, everyone are looking forward to since this new program for this, the PSO2 and uh, now many are excited in the Vessels program, right? Yes. You are son. You also did a play of a PSO2, right? Yes. And for the first time, and I used the Fantasy System University PSU. It was about 15 years ago, and after this, switched to the PSO2, and I still keep playing on it. And it was it was just the uh, launch in 2000, but I was born in 2001. So that was just now you have the beginning was the first the first launch before I was born, even before I was born. Yeah, now you were just joining the program of the games, which was well, originally and the launch before you born. It's just like a really, really and amazing. Yes, now I'm, I'm now feeling about my life in this program. Okay, so, so and also the play the PSO2, and I'm really excited. And the PSO2 will uh, we get renewed, and the PSO2 is also really great and cool game, really beautiful. And but now that even will be getting more of that and uh, of the uh, will be in celebrated reverse so i really looking forward to it so i'd like to know a lot about this in pso 2 and not also for would you please play, play the gs this is not only pso 2 but also this new game of the ngs yes and a lot of the, i i hope that a lot of things that we can have more of additional things we can play yes so that all this information will be presented to you for the program okay okay then and now now you are the beginner. Now you are just uh, and putting that's the beginner's mark on it. It has a hard mark. This is indicates that I am uh, the in, in the beginner and for this episode too. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I'm very sorry that you can you, we 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 can have only the very small software. I'm not looking for the larger support for the three men, but anyway, you're looking because I'm just a senior in this world. So that's why now yeah yeah please spend that in three and. To, to triple the size of the software, please. Okay, then I'd like to announce that the special mission for the Mibuchan and she have to complete by the end of the program. Mission, yes, it's called NGS mission. Okay, you have to fulfill what is it? Okay, 
then this is very fast program broadcasting, so that's why we ask the movie chum that to come up with something that's the signature pose of this program, so that everyone would like to follow. Signature pose. This is signature pose of this specific program. And any other, any, anything else about this? Okay. So, so that you don't have to just like, come up with your own just a personal pose. Anyway, this is signature pose for the program, right? Okay. A, we can use that and the, and the pose for the title pose, so that and if there's any event for this and the game and, and all the, the forwards and the, uh, the guests can also a, t make the same pose. This is very important. I'm really a. I felt that was a very heavy responsibility and get get nervous. But anyway, I like to come up with when cute the signature pose so that everyone would like to copy or follow. Because I'm yes, because I'm yeah, okay, and please just come up with the cute one. If it's an awkward pose that no one will follow. So that's okay, only well, just one or two just it not doesn't make any sense. So by the end of this program, would you please come up with that pose, okay? We like to ask you to show and demonstrate that pose at the very end of the program, okay? That's a very... How do you can, how can you change the finish the program will depend on your signature pose, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, then, this is the new program, PSO2, New Genesis Program 1, and it is broadcasting in the program. We'd like to give you that's the latest information concerning PSO2 NGS, one after another. So I hope you just the join us to the end of the program. And today, Nibuchan, please, that's and announce the timetable today. Okay, thank you very much. And these are the, the timetable, okay? All right, okay. This is the timetable, okay. Yeah, it just seems like you have to twist the tango around with timetable, okay? Now, this is the timetable. This is, what is it? The first. And the section is that, tell us, Hiro-san, about the, the game of the PSO2 and the NGS. Hiro-san, yes. We ask Hiro-san, and official navigator of PSO NGS, Mr. Hiro Alai, we've invited and we'll ask him about what is the what kind of game is it NGS and what is the difference between PSO2 and PSO NGS. Mr. Hiro Alai explained it. It's really and uh, informative, yes, because I'm just a beginner's market and put on. That's why I, I'm really looking forward to the section. The second section is that now that PSO2 NGS hot information, the full of the latest information of the game. Now, this is we're going to give you some of the latest information which have never been announced yet, one after another, but at any stand. Okay, so now. Then also, and we'd like to give you that. Uh, how, what is the progress of the, the games? And since that we announced the end of September and TGS 2020, and we'd like to give you that actual and actual device demonstrations and live demonstrations on the device. Yes, really, I'm looking forward to this as an actual demonstration on the device, and also character create will be introduced. And the last of all, the last section is that TSO2 NGS message box, in which we'd like to have uh, an. I'd like to introduce that some comments delivered by the users. Okay, that's uh, Nibu-chan. Uh, how just uh, they failed to just uh, pronounce that the timetable better. Now we already have to get uh, gets the you know, the message for that. Okay, you're just responding. You got feeling. Okay, okay. We I'd like to have a lot of that the comments for the game, please. Okay, okay. Then I'd like to move into the very fast section. Okay, the very fast section is here. Tell us, Hiro-san, PSO2 NGS. Okay, and what kind of section is this? This, this and that. Now, the PSO2 NGS will be service in 2021, but we have to introduce that what kind of game it is and what's the difference from the PSO2. Okay, then I'd like to and, uh, introduce an official navigator of PSO2 NGS. What? Did you just twist your tango? And you just mentioned the best, and I failed to just uh, pronounce bad to you too. Okay? Okay, anyway. Okay, and uh, let me introduce the PSU 2 NGS uh, official navigator, Hiro Arai. Okay, good morning. Okay. Okay. Hiro san. Now, uh, what, what's your role and what's possible? Okay, let me introduce myself and how. Uh, Hey, hey, good evening. I'm a PSO NGS and official navigator. My name's I'm, I'm Hiro Arai. Okay, official navigator. What one is official navigator? Yes, and uh, and official navigator is uh, providing information just like and 
In order to make that all this, like provide the latest inventions for all the players can enjoy playing, and like to bridge between and gamers and developers. So that's what we like to make that the games and navigate the games to the better direction. Okay, thank you very much. Now. For the players, you are the real encouragement, encouraging for the for the gamers and the users. Okay, so you are not the developer yourself. No, I am not developer, but um, my mission is that to and just ex encourage and promote the excitement of the games and community. Yes. So you now it's something like that is not that. And for those who are you are the navigator, not the person for encourage that. So. The big, even beginners can join it. Yes, yes, of course. I like to study a lot about this new game. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay then. So, the many of the users are just beginners of the the, the game. So that would you please just uh, introduce the game? Okay, Peso Two and Peso and Jazz. And let me and uh, fo uh, please follow me to the go through the brief of with the slideshow. Fantasy Star Online, also known as PSO, is an online RPG Sega. It's proud out to the world. The series will reach its 20th anniversary the day after tomorrow. 20th anniversary. And as of now, the flagship title of the series PSO 2 service is alive across various platforms, both for the, the Japanese and the global versions. And PSO 2 will be celebrating its rebirth on 2021 with the mega size updates as. The Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis or PSO2 NGS. Okay? The world settings, game system, graphical engine will be renewed and will be friendly for those who play the PSO2 series for the first time. Okay? NGS will provide a whole new experience for them. the online LPG adventure will take place on an open world 1,000 years after the current PSO2 with exciting the combat action. The evolved graphical engine will upgrade the character model specs significantly and will provide even more variety to the character creations. Mm, that's great. PSO2 NGS and the current PSO2 will coexist in a single game and your character will be able to move across the two worlds. Really. Therefore, we believe it is in the time for both the players who currently play PSO2 and who used to play PSO2 to rejoin again. Oh, really? Is it? Okay. It's great. All oh, these elements are free to play are free to play and we truly wish all video gamers to look forward to this title. Okay, now it's well played and all over the world. It's yeah, some great things. And also free to play. I'm really surprised that and I hear that it's free to play. And also now we can have a more freer hand for the, the created the characters and we can enter more in this and the reverse of the game. So yeah, free to play is really because we have done so much money and we are really yes, and really and it's really attractive and draw attention to the free to play game. So, that would be a quick recap on the information released about Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis or PSO2 NGS. Thank you. Well, you want to apply? Yes, I would love to. Yeah, so it's like I can try it before other people, right? Wow. I mean, for beginners, I mean, uh, it can be a great opportunity. Oh, yes. Uh, pr people like me, see, see I've got this uh, beginner uh, sticker here. So uh, I, I will make sure that I will apply. Please do. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on, uh, Nibu-chan. Uh, the next corner is this, PSO2 NGS Hot Information. What do you have to say? Um, okay, here in this corner, I, we are going to uh, let you know the uh, very, very hot and new information about PSO2 NGS, which is not yet released. Wow. See, I mean, something, uh, you know, first release, I mean, that's really great, isn't it? Yes, I'm sure that uh, a lot of the uh, audience uh, is really looking forward to this. Uh, and now again, Hirosan, would you please lead us? Okay, certainly. First of all, the opening movie of PSO2 NGS has been completed, so I would like everyone to see it. Please pay attention to the character of graphics that has been brushed up based on the provided feedbacks to its first appearance 
as well as the theme song uh, from the teaser trailer with the added vocal track. How, how was it? How was it? How could you share your opinions with us? It was beautiful. It was just so cool. So real and um, I mean more than real. I mean the quality of the movie is awesome. Oh yes, I agree. And also this your world settings. Yeah, and also here's a movement of the last one. I mean that was so cool. Yes. And uh, see, I mean, you get refreshed, don't you? Yes, yes. When I'm playing the game, I get to uh, feel like I'm immersed here. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can imagine. And I feel like I'm, no, I can, I can fight or I can be a good combatant. Okay, the theme song was also great. It was sort of stylish, wasn't it? Yes, yes, I think so. Well, I tried to uh, copy the melody, but um, I couldn't. Oh, at least you tried, NG. But it was cool. Okay, uh, next, I would like to uh, disclose the main visual art. The main visual has also been renewed vibes uh, from the previous series. And I think it emphasizes the fact that a completely new PSO2 will be developed in the future. I'm looking forward to an adventure into the vast world under the eyes of the uh, this main character. That's my hope. Hey, hey, that sounds exciting. Well, the world is even broader to me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm now thinking about uh, what kind of world, uh, what, what, what world settings you have this time. Is it like a uh, 1,000 years later or what? I mean, uh, absolutely. Okay, uh, next I would like to uh, well, show you a bit uh, about the, uh, the, the settings, world settings of the NGS.
I, I would like to supplement it with a slide deck. The story is set on a star called Planet Halfa, where Arcs are fighting an endless battle with the unknown life form Dolls. Talented people living on the planet Halfa may become an Arcs, or people who land on the surface of the planet with descent pods, descent pods from space, known as Meteoron, uh, could become an Arcs. As one of the Meteoron, uh, you players will spin the story from the point where you land on this planet Halfa. The Meteoron uh, are said to have lost memories before the drop. However, there seems to be some, uh, some who remember about the uh, partial detail. How would it be for the player character? Uh, that could be up to you. By the way, we will not be touching about the story during CBT. So, uh, we would like you to wait for the official service end for it. Ooh, that really makes me excited. So, a lot more will be uh, really disclosed. From now on, yes, there are still so many mysteries and um, you know things that we don't understand. But okay, but in the essence, okay, so we are the meteorites and uh, we land on the Alpha, and dolls are our enemy. Oh, you know it, you understand thoroughly. Great, good job. So as an Arx, I am supposed to, I will. Uh, I'm supposed to uh, beat down a dolls, right? Just one, one hit, or one smash. Yep, I, I would like to uh, give a one smash or one throw. Well, now I get a little more knowledge and information uh, about the, the world settings. But see, I mean, I, another thing I'd like to know more about is the game system. For example, PSO2 will come with a lot of action after all, right? I'm really curious on what kind of weapons are available in addition to the cl uh, classes and weapons that have already been disclosed. Like what is uh, going to happen to my favorite weapons and so on. Ah, okay. So from here, I will introduce a clip in, uh, of in-game scenes focusing on the content that can be experienced in the closed beta test scheduled to be conducted in Japan. First is about the action. Okay, that's action. Now, fighting action. I will start off with introducing the three classes already disclosed. First up is the Hunter. Uh, they are good in the standard combats using uh, melee weapons uh, such as swords. Ooh, this is cool. And very close. Thanks. Uh, next is the Ranger. Uh, they are good in battle using ranged weapons such as assault rifles. Regarding the, uh, the over-the-shoulder view, uh, please pay attention to the camera as we have adjusted so it is now closer to the player based on the user's opinions to the uh, previous previously published promotion video. And then next comes the Force. It is good at magic-like elemental attacks called Technique. Ooh, this is cool. And this must be difficult. Hmm. Okay, from here I will be talking the classes that have not been announced in public in the past. First is the Fighter. This class is good in extremely close range combat such as Knuckles. When Knuckles are equipped, you can give enemies huge damage while dodging through the attacks with, uh, with Sway. You will float like a butterfly, sting like a bee in combat. Ooh, look at this! Yeah, it is... Ah, this is awesome. Fighter it is. Yeah, continuous continuous beating. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. And you can uh, even uh, fight from the mid-range. Next is the gunner. Uh, this class is good in mid to close range combat, mainly with twin machine guns. You will be able to conduct the uh, acrobatic stylish roll when twin machine guns are equipped. And as the name suggests, you can enjoy the stylish battle in the air. Battle in the air. Ooh. Wow, she is uh, really great. I mean, just doing well. Oh, 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 danger. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, watch out, watch out. Look at. Ooh. Wow, she is cool. And Gunner is so strong. It Wow, I'm, and uh, so, so, such, such a versatility. Uh, depends on the number, I, on, on your, depends on, uh, it depends on the number of your stored hits, change which inflict massive damage, can be activated from the Photon Arts charge. Finally, for the, the Tector, same as Force, they battle by using technique, they are good at melee combat, uh, with exclusive weapon. Wand. They can add the same attributes uh, from the charged technique you have uh, conducted right before as a tech TEC explosion during melee attacks. Ah, okay. So we can sort of add attributes? Mm. Okay. All right, I see it. Look at this, I mean, uh, so uniform. And parrying is also available, so you can move on to the next action without becoming immobile uh, while defending. This is going to be convenient. Texture, uh-huh. And then also, if you set a subclass in addition to the main class and equip a weapon, that has been made into a multi-weapon by item customization, uh, you can use not only the main class weapon, but also use subclass weapons and photon arts at the same time. Ah, so you need to have a good combination. Wow, I see. Oh, look. So you can use both. Oh, he changed the, the hold of the be the weapon. Oh, wow. So you can come close. It's really different. Next, I will introduce basic actions. First is the photon dash. You can transition into high speed movement and is p perfect for running around the open fields. Also, there is only Difference in appearance for the photon dash, however, there are optional variations such as hovering maneuver. That's fast. Next is the photon glide. This will extend the flying time and flying distance while gliding in air. Glide. Oh, so we went, went across. Even that cliff, wow. So it's descending and goes. Next, we have the wall kick, new. It helps you to move to higher places by jumping one step automatically when you keep moving forward towards the wall or obstacles in the air. Cool jumps, even on trees. Cool. Looks good. And finally, the swimming action is implemented to the series for the first time. Well, amazing. How far can you go? Beautiful. Maybe there's enemies in the sea too. Swimming. It makes you want, want to obtain a swimwear outfit soon. <laughs> I don't know what, how that will be helpful. It will be. So that was the introduction of actions. How did, what did you think guys? Wow, there was so much new information released. And so let's have a look at the slides and go over it again. So for the six classes I've introduced, Hunter, Ranger, Force, Fighter, Gunner and Tector. Each class will be able to equip uh, two to three types of weapons. However, during CPT, other than Gunners, which can equip twin machine guns and assault rifles, class can equip one type of weapon. Please check for upcoming information for what weapons will be added to each class at Service Inn. Did you have anything that you'd like to have?
Was that gunner the one that you can fly in the air? Oh, maybe Tecta? You know, using, being able to use magic and being able to go close. I think that, but those two being combined, I, I hope that I could really use that effectively. Magic and being able to go close seem to be very e useful. Kaito was also, it really felt good. You know, the techniques and the, 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 the speed of it. It really seemed to be uh, good. Okay, next slide then. The popular subclass system in the current PSO2 is a system where you can set another class than the main class as a subclass and use the past part of the abilities. What is more in PSOT and GS is that you are able to equip weapons for subclasses. In addition, creating multi-weapons by combining two types of weapons in item customize, you can activate several weapons attack attacks within a single palette without switching weapons. I see. In addition to Photon Dash and Photon Glide, which were already disclosed, I have int I introduced the new Wall Kick and Swim features. We didn't mention this in the video. As some may have noticed, there was a small-sized robot following the player's character. Yeah, I saw that. This is called Mag, uh, which helps to assist your battle parameter when it grows and supports you in battle in the current PSO2. However, the mag in PSOT and GS will no longer have the ability to grow and support in battle. Instead, it is like your buddy to help you during your adventure and will react when there are any new facilities nearby in the open fields and play the role of a portable terminal in the story. Oh, so it helps you. And regarding the... So you are able to uh, adventure through the wide, vast field. Yeah, I like the swimming too. I, th I think you can really expand your world. And wall kick, by having that, you can really go to a highest area. Yeah, yeah, yeah be, you'll probably be surprised that you can go this far. Yeah, just, just you know, going up higher. Yeah, I really look forward to that. So new actions, and uh, with PSO2, we really want to enjoy that. Is there any specific contents in the open field? Yes, please, let's enjoy the trailer introducing the open field. First is the Ryuka device. By utilizing the Ryuka device on the field, players can quickly teleport to faraway locations. Using the function within the world map, you can teleport to any Ryuka device you have visited in the past. Oh, that's easy. Easy. And simple. Yeah, because you get lost on where you are. And maybe you feel like walking, you need to walk again. On the field, there are multiple mysterious structures referred to as cocoons. Uh, by entering them, you can enjoy closed area quests that are not shared with other players. I see. So away from the open field a bit, yes. So your own mission. That's cool. Oh, so in a location like this, I see. Amazing. So you like to sort of practice your techniques and that kind of things can be done. I see. Like practicing your action too. And this cocoon quest can be played also with a party. Oh, 
also it's, there's missions where you can go in together with your friends. Ooh, looks, sounds fun. Ah, so this boss-like character also appears. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, if you do this multiply, it's easier to defeat. How many people can join in? Four. Four people. I see. As you advance in the field, suddenly emergency trials may occur, providing a different enemy encounter situation than usual. Oh, quite high above. Oops. Also climbing on top of it. field there will be a huge terminal called region mad which will give all players on that ship a boost effect when items are given to it I see well that's cute in a heart shape yeah so if you give give it try to give them an item looks happy cute Photon sensitive effect, otherwise known as PSE, is a system where your gauge will fill up as, your, as you eliminate the enemies and will provide boost to the possibility of encountering rare enemies. When the burst occurs, occurs as the gauge is a max, a large number of enemies appear, including a guaranteed chance of encountering different rare enemies. So you need to sort of store it. Oh, that's true. Special kind of looks strong. Next is one of PSO2's iconic contents, the urgent quest. This can happen at any random moment within certain areas on the field, and heading to the specific location will place your entire party in a new instance where you will fight the giant boss enemy. Well, that sounds exciting, it makes you want to go there. Wow, amazing. Yeah, you'll be you'll be defeated immediately. You're talking about me? God, am I going to be the defeated one? Then you I sign you can help me. Rescue me. Wow, big technique. Just made it. Oh, dangerous. Oh, oh it's going to be attacked. So that is it for the open field. And what did you guys think? There were so many elements added. Yeah, the, the, you know, the benefits of the party were sort of portrayed. And you know, in, in a cocoon, you're able to sort of uh, work together in your team so you could do it with friends and go together. Now, if you can, you know, if they can sort of assist you during the uh, battle, it would be fun. Okay, now let's move to the next slide. Functions such as Ryuka device and world maps are necessary functions for games such as PSO2 and GS, which feature large open field for its setting. 
Maybe some of you noticed while watching the footage, but the Ryuka device also has storage functions. I see. Next, the cocoons are facilities which offer the multiplayer online experience in combat and quests the older series is known for. As, for, as was shown in the footage, a part of the tutorial will take place in these cocoons. So you can sort of practice and then do the real game. Now, please move on to the next slide. E trial, emergency trials, urgency quests, and the PSC system should all be familiar for players of PSO2. Each of these have evolved in better fit, to better fit the world and its open fields in PSO2 and GS. Something special this time is the region mag, the big one that you just saw. Feeding it an item gives players within the same server, like that of ships in PSO2, boost effects that are nothing but good news. They are uh, kind of like the Jizo Guardian statues found in Japan. Well, I didn't get that image, but it sounds cute, you know, with a lot of hearts coming out. Players of current PSO2 might understand if we say this is like the Alliance tree. Yeah, so if you find it, it's better if you sort of touch it. Yeah, something good may happen to you. So we got a lot of information on the field now, I understand more. I was wondering though, that city looking place in that footage, that central city, is that correct? What kind of place is that? So let's have a look at the next footage. In located in the planet Halfa, the largest city, center city, serves as the base for the arts and the main hub like other RPGs. It's really in a cool, stylish, a good city. Yes. I like to live there. It has an all improvement and the good facilities are well organized in 1,000 years. And the inside of the central city serves as a lobby and can have up to 100 players, 100 players in the same uh, instance to communicate in just as the current PSL2. It's really beautiful at nighttime. Yes, I think so. And also weather changes, really, yes. I like to, yeah, really the peaceful time, yes. I like to, the warming and sunshine, yes. Really comfortable. And within, within the facility is really spacious. So this is like, and we get to used to the lobby. I get used to in the current game. Yes. What is here? So we can run around and also have a conference here. We have the discussion with there and the desks. So there's no any specific desk is uh, there in the office, in the established office, okay? Within the city, there won't be just the players, but many NPCs as well, giving the players various tasks to finish, mm -hmm. okay? So you get out to the adventure with a task, yes. There are also a variety of shops. Shop, yes. This over here is that the food stand, you can create food items which give boost with that the materials gathered. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and the, the item lab, where you can customize your weapons and armor. We're also making a written here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the store clock is cute. I like her. Okay, I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you can have a good, good boost like this.
Um, that's a good central city. Where did you, where did you guys think? It yeah, will look beautiful. But anyway, and in that city, and it's not just fighting, but uh, battle. But we're gonna have a dialogue with other players, all right? And that's a very, yeah, just like the lobby, which please use that in the city, and just like the lobby in the current game. And many people just get together and uh, prepare for the battle, or you just get together and go to the shops to and enhance your weapons. Okay, so so we can get together for the preparations and you can have just very and the casual chatting okay let me now move on to the, the next slide this is the rx base of operation central city basically the lobby where players can communicate with each other and prepare for quests in non-combat environments it is directly connected to the open field which serves as a combat environment and going to to and from these areas similarly the open field also features a day night cycle with the weather the condition changing over time and there are also a lot of NPCs who inhabit in the city as an arc operative one of your duties is to complete the tasks given by those people and these tasks are like a client orders and arc missions for users of the current PSO2 that might be easy to understand okay and understood so that's why this inside the central city and and it turns out to be night, or the rain starting to fall, right? And basically, there's an all that the inside that also you can enjoy the city on the, on the outside the facility, outdoors. Okay, yes. Now, please move on to the next slide. In PSO2 NGS, you can guarantee materials such as food from trees, meat from the tanks, and other various things from the natural habitat. A way to utilize these gathered materials is the food stand. Depending on the ingredients you use, and food with different effect attributes can be created. So, remember the recipes and consume the food for the situation you your travels to explore efficiently. As for the the, the idle lab, which is a lot of our, our account PSO users are wondering about, enhancement item and an affix and an argument will also be making their tongue. The affix augment in particular has had the system over how little to a new one, while the current PSO2 requires the consumption of an item to each other, PSO2 and GS, but they use a simple system which utilizes capsules, weapons, and the equipment collected during the troubles. And also, and for the new and multi weapon system, the new features. But also, an introduce an action movies and multi and the weapons can be created at an idle rock. And you can use these amount of weapons at the sub parts. There are also item shops, salon, salon, and across counters, and so on, which exist in the current PSO2. Okay, I understand it. So, what you're saying is that each of these are the store and the shop, right? Yes. So, um, you introduced the lobby, but uh, this is an online game, so that's the communication is very important element. So, uh, do you have any features about the new communication? Of course, indeed. And please view this next footage containing an additional information on communication and other elements. Communication. The balloon chart and symbol art that are the features of the series are that at present. Oh, you can customize it. Yes. Oh, that's great. That's cool. Hmm, okay. Emotes can now. This is for emotes can now perform emotions with the longer way to the finger movements. Finger movements. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Think for each which one of finger can move. I understood. Yeah, I like it. It's lovely. It's cute. Just making peace sign. Yeah, it's like a great piece. Next, that is the stamp as a new communication function. Really? Okay. 
From here, I will introduce it in detail with the video clip on how to go back and forth between the, the worlds of PSO2 and PSO2 and just press moving to PSO2 from the character selection screen. The graphic the engine, the graphic engine of PS2 has been updated to match PS2 and GS, and you can see from the video that the graphic expression has changed slightly compared to the current PS2. It's Next is moving from within the PS2 game to PS2, PS2 and GS. Wow! Now you get into the 1,000 years ahead, right? Yes. And uh, conversely, moving from the in game in game of the PS2 and GS to PS2. That's also great. You get that. Very simple. Now you can just immediately move to the, the different environments. So these are what the introduction on the communication method and PS2 after NGS updates. Now we we'll, would we'll like you to go over it again on the slide. Okay, please. Users can communicate with each other through the balloon charts, symbol arts, etc. Just like the current PS2. In addition, a new feature, stamps. Stamps, yes. I think this is a function that is familiar to the generation of people of the current social media. I like symbol art. It has a feature where you don't have to make it yourself or register other players' things, and the variation will increase with updates. Although it was not introduced at the end of the video clip, but it seems that once with the simple animation is planned as well. Mm -hmm. Is it? And to the emotes. Finally, that long-awaited finger movement is now available. It was really great. I really it was amazing. Yes. Yeah, you can have a lot of screenshotting. Yes, a lot of poses available. But taking screenshots and going to become fun than ever. However, please note that the finger moves only in the customer of the PSO2 and GS specifications. And in the case of the current customer of PSO2 specification, the finger does not move even if the target amount is exceeded. You will have to change to the new customer, right? Yes. New charm. Now, for example, a lot of the songs and songs, and uh, you know, a lot of costumes. Yes, and in the Saka 46 and Kyun, that was a debut single for us, and we use it using the fist, and the fist and the, this this will just represent the heart. Can we do that? Yes, probably. But if we can show the movie finger, we can make that kind of a heart mark like this. Yes, would you please implement your own actions, and then would you please enjoy yourself? Hey, okay. again, what? So. Yeah, it would be really that you can broaden and broaden that communications and um, you can create a wild movements and fingers like this is and when I look at that the first time that for example that uh, it's like a pink colored one just like this but that's the entertainers right the tooth right and okay and it will be implemented tooth was implemented and yes yeah, so I like to have some voice together with this with the finger movements okay Okay then, now please move into the next slide. Okay, when we announced that PSO2 and then PSO2 and JS coexist, I think many of you had a hard time imagining what kind of system it would be. However, with the introduction in this movie, you may have been able to understand that this is a very simple system. Yes. Even after updating to the PSO2 and GS, I hope you can always return to PSO2 and feel free to enjoy the past contents. Okay, yes. Also, due to the impact of the update to PSO2 and GS, it was necessary to renew the graphic engine on the PSO2 side. Mm. This is uh, to achieve a graphic that has greatly evolved from the PSO2 and the PSO2 and GS, and also is a required action to take s so that you can enjoy customers and uh, emotes of the PSO2 and GS specifications and PSO2. Okay, understood. As a result, that PC version that the recommended specs will also be changed, so it may not work on some PCs that do not meet recommended standards. In addition, we were notified that it was not possible to reproduce the exact same graphic expression as the current PSO2. Therefore, I think that some users who are familiar with the graphics of the current PSO2 may feel uneasy with some expression. We have a, the comment from the, the development team and now, like this, we would like to carry out the update after careful consolation adjustment, but if there is 
There is a problem pointed out by many users. We would like to consider further adjustments and updates. This is the comments from the development team. Okay, thank you very much. At the CBT, the coexisting system with the PSO2 is also an important test item. So we're looking forward to hearing the opinions and the requests of everyone who can participate. Yes, graphic. It's more beautiful, and when it comes to going to the world of NGS, and I like the coloring, as the color nature is also different. Yes, you can play it on the represents it in the 4K. Yes, I like to look at and play, and the very beautiful and and the the, the refined. Uh, screen. There is one more concern about the coexisting with the PSO2. What will happen to the, the performance of the weapons and the armors? I'm very curious. Yes, it is said that the information will be disclosed on the official website before CBT is conducted. So please wait a little longer. All right. And so when I look at that, and also you can participate in that and some information. Okay. We have uh, we have asked a lot of things we're interested in. Yes, really. Thank you very much for giving that tons of information. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Hiro-san. I heard that, um, well, today, are uh, you going to tell us how we can uh, use character create with the real machine? Uh, is it, is it going to be, is it going to happen? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am, I am glad I got to uh, ask a lot of things. I am asked, so let's get it on. Okay. Hiro-san, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, uh, the well latest uh, ROM ROM uh, that I borrowed from the development team. So I'm going to uh, introduce to you a part of the character create. When you actually create a new character, wow, that that sounds exciting. It's yet I uh, you know work I under I uh, on progress. Uh, so uh, there there are some gum, uh, dummy text or dummy UI, uh, but I hope you understand. All right, a game screen. Do you see it? Yes. This is a uh, uh, this appeared in the opening. It's a human type one. It's a default character. He looks like this. He looks cool. Oh, oh yep, yeah, the a uh, kind of a uh, guy like this. I mean, he would be nice. I mean, he's got straight hair and a uh, very glossy hair. Yeah, the texture and the light reflection is so real. Okay, to your left, you see the uh, edit menu. Uh, you, that's, this is the UI that you see. Uh, what kind of characters do you like? Uh, long eyelashes and uh, pink hair, maybe. And would it be a girl? Yeah. Uh, and eyes would be green, sort of colorful. I've been uh, uh, choosing a cast, and uh, what, no, one time I chose a, a shortest one. I put uh, twin tails, uh, and uh, it turned out to be a real cute one. And cute character when he, when she, or when it is fighting, and uh, uh, it can be really fun uh, if she's strong. Okay. Now, first, uh, let me edit the head. I uh, edit items. Face is here. You have a uh, facial uh, variation. Two variations. You can choose one of them. The left is oh really sharp. Uh, yep. So this is more like a young man. And uh, we have this morphing function. This way, you can uh, uh, you can um, uh, ch you can make changes, uh, very subtle changes uh, to the uh, uh, outline or contour of the face. So, so it can be a real you know s smart and um, smart young man or. Mm, you can also have a, a different distance between eyebrows and eyes. Yes, yes. And also the uh, positions of the eyes. Wow. This is so detailed. Okay. Next, let's work on eyes. Eyes may be a little too sharp. See? 
Ooh. Yeah, he looks softer. He does. So, um, I, well, overall uh, adjustment you can do with morphing function. Now, in NGS, you can, uh, ex you can do even more detailed adjustment. Like, uh, see the uh, outer edge of the outer corner of eyes? That can be uh, adjusted as well. See? Yeah, wow, well, th this is fun. And look at the eyelids. As you as you change the eyelids, you know, you know he looks sleepy now, but now he's got his eyes wide open. <laughs> See, I mean, uh, you can change it freely. Wow, he's got his eyes wide open. For example, you can make adjustment on, on the right, on the left, uh, separately. Oh, is that right? Wow, he's winking. See this? Wow. And uh, this way, you see, I mean, one eyed character you can make. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we human beings have a um, you know, different look uh, in uh, right eyes and left eyes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's work on the iris. You know, to move it up or down. Well, can he fight? I mean, with the iris, you know, moved up. Okay, what about eyebrows? Uh, there, are, there are different um, types of eyebrows you can choose. Bold, yeah. The, recently, the bold eyebrows, big eyebrows, are hot. Okay, what about this today? Okay. And uh, you can change the color as well. Color of your eyebrows, you can change uh, as you see. Ooh, this is good. And uh, but this time I'm going to uh, have it synchronized with the color of the hair. And uh, you can change the colors with RGB. And uh, this a uh, function uh, is available from new uh, NGS. And a little darker. In NGS, you can also adjust the, the position of the uh, left and right eyebrows. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, so the distance between the eyebrows can be adjusted. Oh, okay. This is neat. All right, let's work on eyelashes. Uh, several options. Oh boy. Well, they look so different. Oh my goodness. Okay. What about this? And um, the eyelashes color. Okay, that can be changed as well. Like eyebrows. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have people, you know, wearing uh, color mascara. That's right, that's right. But, um, well, after all, I'm gonna have it synchronized with the color of the hair. Okay, what about hairstyle? It's called Shaggy Mush. Shaggy Mush or Shaggy Mushroom cut? I might, I might try it myself, not Twin Tails. Oh, you, oh, you yourself, you wise son. Yes, yes. Oh, long hair as well. Wow, look at the gloss. I mean, glossy hair, beautiful. Today, okay, I'm gonna choose this one. And from NGS, I, there are some hairstyles which will be newly introduced. And um, for some hairstyles, you can make arrangement in the, uh, the bangs. Wow, look at this. 
That's a surprising. Surprising. Mm. You know, some people prefer longer bangs. And again, uh, color can be uh, chosen out of the RGB palette. Wow, look at this. Usually, you you use what? White. Okay. And you make a girl character? Yeah. And and uh, see, I mean, as I change the hair color, uh, the, uh, the eyebrows and um, uh, eyelashes, uh, the colors of these will be uh, automatically synchronized. Ah, okay. Very smart. Okay, now he looks like this. Ooh, yeah. He is completely different from what, what we were looking at a few minutes ago. Now then, let's uh, work on the nose. Ooh, very big nose or a small nose or... Mmm. And the position of the nose can be adjusted. Also, see how how big uh, or how long your nose is. Okay, you can change it freely. Wow. Yeah, a different look of the nose can really make the whole look different. See, nowadays we we wear masks, so you, you really cannot tell. <laughs> and sometimes I get like, uh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, what about mouth? Uh huh. Okay, so you can change the uh, the corner of the uh, the edge of the uh, the lips, or maybe a lips can be um, fuller or thinner. Okay. All right. Also, the distance between the nose and the mouth, this can be adjusted as well. The distance can be long or... See? Okay. However it looks nice, I mean, you can choose it. And then... The shape of your mouth... I actually, I'm talking about inside the mouth. See? Common tooth or wonderful tooth. You can choose one of them. Okay. And inside I see a tongue. At the moment, uh, that's what we have. But uh, in the future, uh, I'm told that uh, there, there'll be a broader variation. So you, you can check it out. Wow. And the position of the tongue can be uh, can be changed as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's got his tongue out. Yes. So this is how you adjust your tongue. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed. Okay. Uh, let's see what, what we can do with the corner of the lips. We can up curve it or we can down curve it, we can up curve it, curve it. And uh, this is also possible. Look at this. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. So you can make um, a little changes on the left and the right uh, separately. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I see so many different facial expressions. Wow, that's a lot of fun. Last pupil eye adjustment. We have um, several uh, options. See this? Ooh. Uh huh. It's it's quite a difference. Okay. Common mile. Okay. Okay. This time, we're gonna fix this. I and uh, in NGS, uh, you can change the size of the uh, the pupil. See this? Ah, okay. So depending on the size, he can look sort of uh, softer. He can look a uh, sort of cuter. 
And uh, now from the distance, oh, it's a little too far. Okay, now you get the nuance of the whole body. Uh, what do you think? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we can see it. All right, now then, uh, let's check the uh, the vision line, no, uh, sight line. I'm gonna uh, balance the uh, the sight line between left and right. See? Oh, oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. I got it. So this adjustment is also available. Uh, okay, he's now looking straight. Okay. Mmm, it looks natural now. So, pupils are set. And next, look at the uh, head. I would like to uh, make it a little smaller. So with this, I'm changing the size of the face or head uh, to suit his body. And together with that, uh, the next neck measurement will can be changed. Yeah, I wish I could be created like that when I was born. Yeah, but you can make your ideal figure in the game. Yeah. And also, there's an angle of the neck. So by changing the angle of the neck, oh, he's, he's looking down. He, you know, he looks sulky. And when you put it the other way, the, he looks full of confidence. So the mood totally changes, you know, looking more confident. And so you can set it like that. Wonder if you can change. And also make makeup patterns. There's several options here too. Barcode. Let's go with barcode this time. Wow, that's a pretty aggressive selection. And also there's a bandage on the other side too. Yeah, I suddenly noticed uh, what kind of gamer he is. So by changing this make pattern, we see, see uh, how the eyeshadow kind of shadows around his eyes. So we'll keep it around here for today. And so how is this? Wow, it totally changed. Very much in detail. And by the way, there's facial variations. And here, if you select the former uh, PSO2, you can select the same face that you used to have. So you can ch change, select from here too. Wow, I see. So yeah, you can play with the familiar one too. Maybe this wasn't a good balance, so I'll tweak it a bit. Next, I'd like to move on to the body and edit the body. With simple edit, here you can make decide the rough uh, physique and the height. Uh, if you want it sturdy, uh, quite uh, fat or slim, which how would you like it? Uh, I, I want a slim type, slim but macho maybe. So let's say sturdy but slim. That's the ideal 
physique and the height too. Well, let's make him a bit big. It's like 180 centimeters and like a model. So he's sturdy, quite tall. Yeah, you're putting in all your desires in this guy. Yes, yes, my dream. Yeah, you might notice that, you know, dreams aren't real. And from NGS, uh, you can now adjust uh, your arms, legs, and uh, waist areas more, more in, much more in detail. And look at the shoulders now, the width of the shoulders. So you want it sturdy, so we'll have big shoulders, fairly big. Yeah, because he needs to fight. Yeah, he needs to be look strong. You don't want slanted shoulders. Yeah, you can make it slanted, more sturdy. So I'm bringing the shoulder positions a bit high and adjusting the arms like this. Whoa, very different. So you can do things like this and the length. Wow, long. I, I prefer long arms. Yeah, like when you have a sword in your arm, you can swoosh it around. It doesn't have much to do with the game, does it? Yeah, because you know, the longer the better isn't exactly how it works. So, so we'll uh, the, change the forearm now. Oh, so you can change the, the uh, volume of muscles. Oh, really muscular. Now, if it's too big, it doesn't look right. So I'll keep it down a bit and, and put it in a well-balanced manner. And hand adjustments. Maybe longer fingers. Okay, we'll do a close-up here. The size of the hand can change. Fingers like this. And the, the slimness of your of the fingers can be also be adjusted. Make the fingers more bulky is also possible. You want? Yeah. Let's keep the fingers slim. It may be more sharp and be able to stick into the enemy better. Pointy fingers, and also the thickness of the hand. Wow, detailed. Uh, need good balance, so let's make it this thick. Yeah, you can really make your, your own self. An adjustment of the hip. Well, this is a male character, but you can make it more feminine with curves. And also around the, the buttock. Yeah, physique is important, and also legs, the thickness, length. You can make it look smart with longer legs. And adjustment of the thighs and the calf. Size of the feet. Wow, even the feet. So those kinds of elements can be adjusted. So how was that? PSO2 NGS, the Beyond Ultimate Character Create. How was that for you? Wow, it was really much, very much in detail and I didn't notice how much you could adjust. It's really, you know, you can do, make your ideal character, make a perfect character. I'd really like to do that. Yes, do, please do challenge. Now, from here, I would like to explain about a special specification that is even related to the player character notion that has been changed. And first, I must tell you that uh, the player character for PSO2 NGS, they do not have a notion of gender, such as man and woman. And the character that I am uh, editing now is not exactly a man. He is called human type one. So it's a masculine phys physique that was selected. 
So in the character create of PSOT NGS, you don't need to be binded by the man, man, woman uh, setting, and you can freely select uh, the physique or avatar elements. So it may be difficult in words, so let's have a look at what that means. So I've selected human type one, that was selected. But when we select two, uh -huh, it's a little feminine. The body itself and also the fashion items are automatically selected to fit this character. So editing fashion. We open layering. Uh, base wear set air. Select. And then physique type appears on the screen. And when we select this. Oh, girly. So these kind of items are prepared. So you can select uh, type 1, type 2, both wares. And, and you don't need to change the physique type, but if you change the wear, it automatically changes the physique type. I explained that uh, physique number 1 was masculine. But even with two, if you do uh, edit, you can make it look more feminine. And I'll try something, so please give me a bit of time. So, Nibu-chan, I really think you need to create a character and show it to everyone. Yeah, and show everyone this is the type of character I want to make. Yeah, it really makes me, gives me the urge to create something. Yeah, the coloring. It's really amazing. Amazing? Yeah, PSO is really, you know, it's all separated into all kinds of parts. And so you, you can really color all kinds of elements. You know, it, you can change the gradation. From PSO to NG, NGS, yes, the base wear colors can also be changed. So you can really do what you want. Yeah, this guy ha was 190, now he's more smaller. Cute. Yeah, a lot, you know, slimmer. Wow. You can have it group. Yeah. The shoulder size size changed. Cute. And also na names. You can create your original name. Yeah, like usernames. Yeah, yeah, you, you can sort of select your own username and also name your own character. I'm, I'm never going to tell you, but I do have a character name. Yeah, my username is so embarrassing. It's too embarrassing to even say it. So it's a secret, yeah. Too embarrassing. It's been, I've been using it for years. Like 15 years, you were saying? Maybe it was something that you named 15 years ago and you're still using it? Yes, and I'm never going to tell you. Yeah, naming is important, isn't it? Yeah, if you, if you select a bad one, you, you'll never be able to tell it to your private friends. Yeah, no one apart from my game friends knows my uh, username. Wow, it's pinkish now. So it's a more girlish, girly type of character being created now. Do you, would you like to create a girl character too? Yes. 
So from that character that we had, we are now created a more female looking character. Yeah, very girly all of a sudden. The hairstyle looks similar. Yeah, but the whole mood is totally different. Yeah, as I said, NGOs, you don't need to be uh, considered about a gender, so you can freely enjoy creating characters. And additional information, I'd like to explain a little bit uh, about species. There is a parameter called species, but you can create characters regardless of that. Like from the physique selection, there's a item called cast type. Well, this is one. Two is like this. Yeah, I, I think I created something like this. And not this much in nude, but... And when you select cast parts, you can change the colors. Oh, cute in pink. Oh, so you can change it by parts. Oh, detailed. Yeah, if you can sort of color the green, out, the outlines in green, it looks really futuristic. Yeah, it doesn't look futuristic. You're pink and green, yeah. Oh. Very detailed. like this. And also, regardless of species, you can select uh, human ears, human uh, horns as well. Now this is uh, like this. We can choose this. Right, we can adjust, just change the angle to more upward like this. Okay. For example, there's the dual man's horn. So we can choose. You see, also cute. You can have the two horns like this. I'm gonna switch to this. So this is you can adjust the the position and. Uh, the length of the horn is also adjustable. It's long. It is. It is stopping, right? Okay. Just like this, you can adjust like this. Okay, understood. It's a. Uh, now just hang over. The characters get a little bit the ears and uh, have a, too much of the element is uh, now when configured on this character. Okay. Next. Now. Let me explain about the rule to put on accessories. We have different from that the current PSO2. Okay? And the current PSO2, now at maximum four accessories can be put on and the PSO2 NGS now and it will be switched to the cost based and a accessory to put it on and uh, at maximum as 18 and the accessories can be and the use it within Based on the cost, cost limits. Now you can find out the the number here, and three is the cost. This is three out of eighteen. So now you have about the rest of the cost you you can use is fifteen because you can use this three. Yes, I I now record that in a similar accessories I use, and I like to just put on and the one accessory for another. Glasses. Is it now? It will be really that's an old. The character is getting all the confusing, and now, and the working on is and as much as possible to put on a lot of accessories and a lot of items on her, he, him, anyway. 
Now it's a horn and getting invincible. He's buried. Now we have put on seven. So now, now we are waiting to reach it to the 18 out of 18. And you cannot put any other accessories. So just like this, and you can put on more than five accessories like this. Now, this is a lot of that, the, tool, the, the tools, and also for an accessory in the head. But then the other accessories will be developed in the launches and after this onward. Okay, understood. Okay, then the last of all. Now, this is that the special features and all the PSO2 users are, have been uh, looking for. This is that if you choose the motion change edits, now you can change that the actual or the motion of the actions so the basic motion of action basic actions for each player for example if we choose this and the waiting pose right it's stylish cool like this so so they're gonna change that standing and the pose while the game is on it's going on like this and the, other than that and the, the running and jumping follow dash photo dash or the swimming that's you can change that the action of this you know of the basic actions for example for the hover dash you just w w witness the cast of the hover dashing then you can change to the photon dash like this It likes it flying out of wind. It doesn't like flying, yes. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Just like this, okay? And now this is the patterns of changing of the motions and can be added on the ticket item basis. One after another, so that we can expect a lot more different actions we expect. Yes, you're right. That's all. That's the introduction of the character create on an actual device here. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like to create my own characters like this. Yeah, I can just be working on it and creating the characters on good. Yeah, we can just uh, adjust things to the really granular level like this, and uh, I like to do that. Okay, I we love it. So, I'm getting excited, even with this character creation. Okay, thank you very much, Hiro-san. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so then please give us the classroom remarks, Hiro-san, as we introduce today and the new Genesis, and so have all renewed it, the world setting, game sync, and system graphic engine, character creating systems, and then even for, the, the, for you to, for, to play the first time for PS2 series can enjoy it, and all elements can be, basic play can be enjoyed with, for free, and would you please, and how to appreciate all oh, yeah, the playing of the PS2 NGS for all the game fans in the world. Okay, thank you very much, Hiro-san, and the official navigator, uh, Mr. Hiro Arai. Thank you very much for today, thank you. Okay, then I'd like to move on to the next se section. Next session is here, PSO2 NGS message, message box. So, in this section, I'd like to introduce that the, the message from the users. It's, it's in the cheering message, hashtag PSO2 NGS, and oh, for the cheering and looting for message, okay? So this is a message from the users for now. Yeah, this is today we'll introduce a section, but uh, would you please and deliver comments here. Nibu John, and now we get a comment. Do you play this in JS? Yes, of course. I'll go, I'm gonna and the download and also, and I like to spend a lot of time on the character creations. It's online, you can play it. And so it can be likely that it also may be possible that your character will play together with the, one of these users. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking at the comments that in the some of them would like to play together with Nibu John. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, and in this section, for example, and for example, I'm looking for the evolved characters of now and the past ten years I've been playing for this. I cannot give up. So that's your enthusiastic comments or any of your ideas will be please and uh, send the comments to our programs, please. Okay. We're expecting a lot of comments from the next 
this next time on the program. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're getting into the ending. It was a really short period of time. Yes. Yeah. Didn't you forget? The mission. Your mission. Mission? Yes. And the, the mission of the, the, of the signature pose is that the mission, they have to come up with that this and just mission. And what kind of pose? Did you develop? If it's really remarkable, and we would like to keep using that to sing as a pose, as the as the pose for the programs. If Hiro-san ever likes it very much, he will also be in the, in, introduce it in, in the game, in the live stream of the game. Okay, I get I get excited. Okay, so I get nervous. No, I'm afraid that's now in the how to get a razor. But anyway, I like to try. Okay, please demonstrate your. And just pose, please. Mm. What that pose is, and I spent a lot of time. But let me explain the reason of this pose. And, and for example, when it comes to pose, I've heard things about something cute, but. When I'm thinking about it, when they create characters, and I look at that's what the and the cat ear was really looks cute. So that's why I like to just uh, and use that the cat ear like this. A lot of excuse for it. about so now this mission. Okay, let me announce the result of the mission. Reserved. Why do you mean reserved? So. So, uh, would you please try it again? The different signature pose of this, there's something better. I would like to choose it. Okay, so that now this one also, this specific pose is one of the candidates, right? Yes, but uh, what should I say? Uh, nah. Now, when a grown up and cannot raise my shoulder and arm to this level, it's just like the playing yoga. So that you know, you get you have the good exercise, but anyway, you can just yeah, this is great. You can say, yeah, so quickly just raise the arms to your head, but now when it's a grown up, it's very difficult to do that, so. Okay. I'm just gonna hit my elbow to the ones that are sitting next to me, but anyway. So I'm trying to come up with the other more simple pose next time, okay? I expect and also looking forward to have you and uh, having you in the next time, okay? Okay. Okay. Next time, yeah. It will, Prologue number two program will be broadcast on PSO2 New Genesis. Prologue two and and the close the beta after the close the beta test is finished. So would you please expect in the next broadcast on so now and we'd like to give you that the latest information on this of, of PSO2 and JS. So please expect that the contents of the program. So after the close of the beta test, so mean that we can have the, the comments from the users of this close the beta test. Okay, it was really informative for us, and uh, so for those of who could just join this close the beta test program, so we'd like to know about the comments and experience. Okay, what did you feel about this in the first program? We were actually, and really convinced that and the PSO2 team is really and gives us the tons of things, and, and also you now really remarkable that we can play it for free. So. We're getting into the game world, and we can communicate with friends, or we can create the characters, and so I'm also looking forward to a playing it. And then I just feel like playing this in the PSO2. Now we have a really, and have the our, the world setting have been expanded so far, and also, and you can get back to on the get to that PSO2, not on the new Genesis. You can get going back and forth. It really unprecedented, and you can succeed on that. That your own character and then playing playing to environments, okay? Really, I'd like to just soon come up with the characters and instead of playing. I really, we can afford and we can't wait for the next year. So that's the... Anyway, the next time, would you please, and looking forward to the next time, the second program of this, Prologue 2. And we're also to keep providing that information of uh, at the game as much as possible. And also, we like to study a lot about the game so that we can and uh, convey and communicate the charms of the game. Now, last of all, would you please register the channel and also please rate it very favorable and, uh, and good for the program, okay? Thank you very much. Please register the channel, I said, okay? Please do not uh, miss, miss choose the buttons, okay? 
Thank you very much for viewing the program. Thank you very much. And we end that. So let's meet again from the next program. Thank you very much. Thank you.